Hey everybody and welcome back to Droobs Viz and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Raftelia Nendroid. So Raftalia, best girl of the anime awards and I'm pretty excited to be opening this up today. This is a awesome looking Nendroid. You actually get three face plates with this and you get quite a few accessories, which is really nice. And I'm going to try not to spoil the show as much as I can. So this is Raftalia, the sword of the shield hero from Rising of the Shield Hero. And as well other Nendroids, we're going to go ahead and open it up from the bottom here. And like I said, really excited for this one because this was actually my vote for best girl in the anime awards and she won. So that is really, really awesome there. And our first thing we're going to take a look at here is our instructions that we get with every Nendroid. So it'll just tell you some quick instructions on how everything goes together. Kind of a parts list there of what you get. So yeah, definitely pretty awesome. And we will set that to the side if we need that later. So let's go ahead and get this blister pack out of here. And there is not much on the inside, just kind of a yellow background there. Yeah, not much to go on the inside, but the box art is definitely awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we get here. And immediately you can see a bunch of accessories. So this is awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these face plates real quick. And our first one here looks like it's kind of an action face there. So that is pretty cool. Definitely really well painted. Then our second face plate here is kind of a little pouty face, if you would. So definitely a funny little face there, you know, when Nafumi tries to treat her like a little girl. Pretty funny. Then on the figure itself, it seems like it's just her standard smiley face there. Let's go ahead and get this plastic off. And we got quite a few bits of plastic on her. So yeah, unfortunately, there's one under the neck. So we're going to have to decapitate Raftalia to get that off. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And like with any new Nendroids or any new figures, you want to be careful because you do not want to break the actual joints. So take care in doing that. And there we go. And then we actually got to cut her body in half there too to get that middle part out. So, and then there's one behind her tail. Okay, so there's a lot of protection here, which is all good. Keeps our paint solid. So let's go ahead and just break all this down real quick and put it back together. So give me one second here. So there we go. Plastic is all off. And let's go ahead and just get a good look at the figure here. And this is extremely well painted. I don't see any flaws on it, at least when I was taking off the plastic. But yeah. This is awesome. Got her little raccoon ears there. The hair sculpt looks really, really nice. And yeah, these little pigtails in the front are actually on a swivel. So that's pretty interesting. You could make some kind of pose with it, I suppose. And that's a really nice addition there. As far as mobility goes, these standard arms here kind of just pivot at the shoulders. Nothing else. And her hands do move. And then her legs, they only have at the upper thigh where they articulate there. And then her head, of course, but there's not too much room there because her hair is so big. And of course, you got her tail back there. This figure looks amazing. It's really, really well done. And let's go ahead and see what else we get in the box. First things first, we have our sandwich here. And it looks like a hand right here to actually hold the sandwich. It's underneath a piece of tape. Let me go ahead and get that out. Okay, so I believe this is actually for our little sandwich hand, which you can just kind of set up like that there and have the sandwich. And funny thing about this sandwich, I really do enjoy that actually being in there. But there's actually something else in here that I'm even more excited for. But just the sandwich, you know, made out of leftovers. You could recreate that special scene with now for me and the sandwiches. Yeah, definitely a cool little piece there. I remember that fondly. But let's go ahead and keep going because like I said, there is one more item in here that I am even more excited about than the sandwich. And it is food related. So this here looks like it's going to be a sword hand. And... The paint on that looks really, really nice there. Definitely really like the gold accents around the wrist. That is awesome. And we have both of our swords here because she is indeed the sword of the shield hero. And this one is the sword that doesn't do physical damage, but it actually attacks magic. So if a magic user is using magic, she could cut through that and pretty awesome. I think this is a really nice sword and I actually thought that was a really cool idea because that's something you don't really see that much. And we have the normal sword that she uses to destroy everybody. Pretty dope. Man, just look at the, the detail on that. That is really nice. It looks awesome. The paint. Wow. Really, really nice. 
looks great. I did notice something in here as well. They actually added bubble wrap now to the Nendroids here. So that's a very nice little touch, a little bit more protection for our figures. But yeah, I keep going into this blister pack. Also that this is the not child version of Raftelia there because a lot of people see her as a child and they don't really watch the show or go through it to see how she actually levels up and becomes older or looks older but yeah here we go this is the main accessory pack here that i've been looking for and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get into possibly my favorite item in here that's this little plate of food right there and this is the little kids lunch that now for me always orders for raftelia because you know when she was younger she wasn't able to eat a whole lot when he was trying to recuperate her but yeah you got a little hamburger steak, some rice, and some fries there with the little flag in it. So that is a really nice touch. Definitely like this. I think this is probably my favorite part in there because this becomes a common scene whenever you see Nalfami and Raftelia getting something to eat at the pub. Definitely a nice little accessory. So next up here, we got another set of arms and these just kind of have the hands together there. So that is kind of like a pleading position or something like that type. Definitely a cool little set. You could probably do some cool poses with that as far as the Nendroid goes or have some scenarios where you would need those. So definitely a nice bit of arms to have. So moving on here, we got her right arm and her left arm. And the way you can tell is because the right arm has the gold band that Nalfami made. So we got the sheathed version of the sword. There's actually a little nubby here on the sword that you could add to her hip, kind of just like that there. So definitely a nice little addition if you did just want to have it on the hip instead of in her hands. So that's pretty neat. And you do have to work the peg there into the side just a little bit because the plastic is new. So yeah, and it's kind of a soft vinyl for the dress there. So it may be a little hard on the first time you do it. So keep that in mind if you are looking at this Nendroid. And then our last item here as far as swords go is her magic sword that is sheathed. Nothing too special. We got some nice gold paint on there and the rest is white. So yeah, definitely a nice little piece as well. So maybe I could have this on her hip and then have her sword in her other hand or maybe a plate of food or a sandwich. So moving along here, it looks like we have an extra arm or this is just the left arm possibly to go with this arm or yeah. And then we got another leg here that doesn't seem to have as much mobility as others. Kind of has a bent knee if you can see that. So definitely extra little piece there or pieces and then we have our extra joint just in case we do end up breaking something in the future and hopefully we don't also have our base and stand so we could set her all up and have her on the shelf looking awesome so yeah this nendroid in my opinion is really really nice and i'm gonna go ahead and hit you guys with a few poses here and i will see you in just a minute guys so what else can i say about the best girl in anime last year i mean this is a super awesome figure and i'm really glad i picked it up i told a lot of people originally when the show came out that she's probably going to be somebody's favorite character of all time one of the best characters of the 2019 anime year and boy was i right this is a super sweet figure and there's one thing i did not show you guys is actually the swords here you could actually remove the hilt so that is an awesome little option there as you saw in the poses, you could have just the scabbard on the side and have the sword in her hand. So definitely a cool little touch that they did there. And I do apologize for not showing you guys that in the actual review itself. But yeah, this has got to be one of my favorite Nendroids to date. You guys get a ton of accessories with it and the character is amazing, especially all the things she goes through in the show. I don't want to ruin it for anybody out there, but going from almost dying and a slave to who she becomes is just a wonderful, wonderful story. And it's definitely something you should look at and I really think it would inspire you or I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but yeah, I'm not too good with all that kind of feeling stuff. But yeah, I mean, Reftelia, super awesome character. Definitely check out the Rising of the Shield Hero if you haven't. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, oh, oh. If only we could.
could make the clock stop. Turn around, block it out, take it all back. Oh, oh, I pumped the brakes too soon. I know. Cold feet will make me lose control. 